So I strictly watched Homewrecker for the lead female actress, and I ended up really enjoying it. So let's discuss it. What is Homewrecker? Homewrecker is a thriller, I guess you want to call it. I don't, I don't know what subgenre of thriller it would be under, but it sure is a thriller, and it's has like comedic undertones too, which is kind of cool. But basically, follows a woman in her forties who loosely befriends a woman in her early thirties, and basically. The older woman um, feels lonely. She doesn't really have any friends, as she explains. <laughs> and the younger woman, trying to be nice, accepts to hang out with her without spoiling anything. Listen, I feel really terrible. How can I make that up to you? <laughs> the older woman isn't who she claims she is. And she starts to get extremely possessive. To the point where when the younger woman begins to leave, she cold cocks her, knocks her out, and basically held holds her captive to basically be her friend. Alex Esso was in this, and I'm a big fan of hers. She was in Starry Eyes, which I loved. She was also in Doctor Sleep, which I was a big fan of, and I think she's really fantastic. So I strictly watch this just for her. And she once again proves that she's very talented. She gives a really good performance. She's really good. But the standout is Precious Chong, who is the older lady. She is extremely uncomfortable. She's very off-putting. But she also has her very sweet moments that make you kind of like care for her. And it totally works. And I was really impressed by her performance. She did really good. Some things I liked about it. there They do a lot of um, split shots. You basically get two perspectives at once. I really liked it. Like There's a few moments when they're like speaking through a door. And it shows both perspectives. I kind of dug that a lot. This movie knows exactly what it is. And it fully embraces it. It knows that it's a goofy over the top concept. It knows that characters are going to make dumb uh, decisions. And it just fully embraces it. Which is awesome. Because I, I love movies that know what they are. So, kudos. And overall, I just had fun with it. And I think that's all you need is a fun movie. It doesn't have to be a masterpiece. It doesn't have to blow you away. But I had fun with it. My main complaint was the score slash soundtrack. I think it I think it comes off comedic and I think it's a lot of like loud hums and boops and beeps. And I think it takes away from the scenes. It doesn't improve them by any means. It kinda it was noticeably poor in my eyes and I kinda didn't like the soundtrack or score at all. And you can tell that this movie was held back by its budget. Because there's a lot of scenes that are not poorly edited and not poorly made. But you can just tell like, oh, if they had more money here and here and here, it would have been improved drastically, you know. It happens. But is this for, is this film for everyone? Absolutely not. Because if you go in expecting some like serious stuff, you're not going to like it. So just go in knowing that this is a somewhat over the top, somewhat goofy thriller with two really great performances and you'll probably have a good time like I did. But Homewrecker, I dug it. Quite a bit actually. But wear your mask, wash your hands, be good people, and uh, thanks for watching.